Yeah, yeah. Today I'm in Catalonia in a little village called Assos, which is really pretty. Um, and I've chosen to walk up to the Venetian castle above Assos on the peninsula today because it's October and it's a little bit cooler than when I was here in the summer. But it's a gorgeous little town, well worth a visit. I think the walk's about um, 1k or so up to the top. So let's walk up and see what we can see of the Venetian castle of Assos. Two ways up to the castle, either 800 meters up these steps or carry on up this nice paved, slightly inclined road. I think I know which one I'm going to choose. up this path. It's a bit longer than I thought, 1.8 kilometres apparently, but uh, it's a nice gentle incline, not too difficult. Not sure what I fancy doing it in the summer, but uh, I think we're nearly up to the castle now, so then I can tell you a little bit more about that. Difficult climb, um, even though it's October, it's quite warm today. But uh, I'm not sure I'd fancy doing it in the height of a summer's day. Um, if it sounds echoey, it's because we're in this gatehouse on the entrance to the castle. So in 1593, when Catalonia was um, under the Venetians, um, it was decided that uh, St George's Castle further south, near, near modern-day Arcosoli, wasn't enough to defend the island from the, the Turkish threat and uh, pirates. So it was decided to build a castle here at Assos and, and this became the uh, seat of the regional governor of the North Catalonia and remained that way until the end of the Venetian Empire. Construction started in 1593 under the architect Martino Gentilini um, and took about three years to complete. The architect uh, settled in Cephalonia and married, settled down, and the Centellini family is still here and runs a finery down near Orostoli, so the legacy remains. plan for this castle was to uh, create an administrative centre or city here and move the administration from St George's um, but that never really came to plan. Um, Assos is quite small and this peninsula has no natural water supply so uh, it was very easy to cut off in a siege but it did remain the, uh, the seat of the regional governor until the end of the Venetian Empire um, but in 1757, because um, of the lesser threat from pirates and from the, uh, the Turks, the Venetians founded Argostoli and uh, 40 years later came the end of the Venetian Empire. So the castle remained without military action, really a bit of a, a white elephant in the uh, Venetian castle crown um, and then uh, some people were moved here from the mainland and uh, they were called the Castroi and they lived here for, for many years 
until the, the earthquake of 1953, which devastated much of Catalonia. Lots of people left the castle, the last one leaving in about 1963. But now it's, uh, it's uh, abandoned. Nobody lives here, it's free entry, um, but there's not really a lot left. Um, but the views from up here are absolutely spectacular. I hope you enjoyed that short video um, on Assos and the Assos Castle. The Venetian Empire lasted a lot longer than this video, 1100 years. Um, if you did like it, please hit the uh, subscribe button, that really helps me out, and the like, and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. Thank you for watching.